video i'm going to be talking about the nigerian celebrities and the international call out hey and if this is helping the nigerian image or not so you be the judge i want to present it to you as it is if you are new here welcome my name is lillian thank you for tuning in first we're going to start with david o or one of african biggest afrobeat singer he got called out by two women from the international community that they are pregnant for him they called him out you know there's been a lot of dragging going on back and forth let me just quickly throw light to what really happened why the american girl went the way she went a lot of people didn't understand anita brown this is what happened previously Chief lover had made a post about davido and his new pregnant american lady in that post Chief lover didn't really say that the lady was pregnant he only said they're having an affair and that the lady and davido had a nice stand and that the lady managed to get evidence of their relationship uh, or their nice stand or their romance or their fling whatever he calls it but that she had been using that to keep davido on his knee. A lot of Davido fans went to drag the American lady on her page, call her names. So she felt like, oh, wow. So this guy went to tell a different version of the story against me. She strongly believed that Davido is the one that told Jesus Lover that he had a nice stand with her. Or whoever, the source definitely is from Davido's camp. So she wanted to clear her name. She came out with receipts throwing receipts everywhere and everywhere is supposed to be quiet normally because when someone brings evidence like that you're supposed to just cover your face in shame and say okay wow david you don't fall our hand for this thing where you do he said you know nanja now nah. and trust me see nanja they fired back at the lady a lot of people criticize her she shouldn't have come out yada 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 less than 24 hours another lady came out again from france this one said she's also pregnant she also wanted to come with receipts i don't know i think whatever happened it she deleted it and then but then she's there oh, she said she's pregnant there've been another again coming out there've been another that that one claiming but i feel like i don't know why i feel like that kenyan lady is just uh, catching cruise with this david o thing but maybe it's true never say never but there's a way she can present her story and they will believe or doubt her but a lot of people even if you have it in mind to come out to speak if you are having a child with david or you already have a child for him and he's not taking responsibility you won't be able to come out to speak because of the dragging that the american lady is receiving and the french lady so a lot of people will be afraid i totally understand so these people called the video out and of course it's expected as always i was looking to see if there will be one nigerian influential person that will speak or oh, condemning what the video did he didn't really kill somebody he didn't rape them this is something they did they had whatever they had and it resulted to pregnancy it's not a bad thing entirely but where it's not right is because the video is a married man so that was why some of us frown at it <laughs> in nigeria a lot of things can happen as long as you're rich and famous no problem you can get away with a lot of things i was expecting to see one person come out to publicly criticize the video but thank god for one actress that actually did the rest are all supporting him he's right he's a man they should be ashamed of themselves she want david to marry her she doesn't you know a lot of things people forgot to say the truth you know they just cover it up like that nigerian celebrity they don't want to one day run into the video and then they get a blow on his on their face on their faces so everybody is just acting like they can't see it's okay to act like you can't see but it's not okay for you to defend you don't have to defend him just because he's a celebrity because you're afraid the best thing is don't talk about it at all sadly the international community is observing everything that is happening and who are the people that will suffer it nigerians in love abroad nigerians living outside of nigeria there's a way people think of us right now. There's a way people were thinking of us before now, but this one has made it even worse. Now people look at us like, mm, this ones, they don't have home training. If they do anything, they go back to their country. Even if you call them out, nobody will drag them. Uh, people will even drag you. So yeah, so it's going to affect a lot of people, but of course that is life. So let's talk about the Messi Johnson and the international call out. Messi got called out by a Ghanaian woman by name Miss Mary Johnson 
from the Ashanti region that she is her biological mother. So nothing had been done up to date. And they were still there when another woman from Cameroon called her out that she is actually her biological mother, not the Ghanaian woman, not the Nigerian woman. She is the biological mother of Mercy. And she came out with receipts, evidence of a lot of things and coupled with the fact that she looks, they look alike. Call out have been there for some time. A lot of people coming out to be, claiming to be her siblings, claiming to, begging for a DNA test, crying out loud on social media, begging people to please help them intervene. You know, help them uh, talk to Mercy Johnson to agree to a DNA test. Again, as, as always, as always, nothing, no celebrity have come up to speak on that. You know, I understand that this messy issue is a very delicate one and um, it's not something that should be handled like that. It's something that needs time for, it needs time. But I also feel like no matter what it is, no matter how it is, there should be someone like Patience Ozoko or Genevieve Naji, people that Mercy Johnson respects a lot, the one we know famous among them is the uh, Genevieve Naji. Mercy Johnson adores her, appreciates her worship. So Mercy Johnson listens to her, he appreciates her. She said it's a role model. She likes her a lot. So I was thinking if Genevieve was able to talk to Mercy Johnson, that would have been nice. You know, the international community is looking, watching us and nothing is done. The ones on social media are even dragging the Cameroon woman. Some are dragging the Ghanaian woman. That's Nigerians. Just a few of us Nigerians that, you know, are talking about it. And we are not speaking in favor of anybody. We're just speaking our truth. So it's giving uh, Nigerians another international struggle. Our reputation is going to struggle again after all of this. This is the effects of all this this is what will happen after some time all right nigerians are going to they are going to struggle internationally again yeah of course it's not like any country is going to ban you not give you visa yeah as long as that is not even affecting nigerians it's okay they get visa to go to anywhere they want we make our money as long as you're making the money it's okay but i wish Nigerians will do something in time like this. It's an opportunity for you to clear your name. It's an opportunity for you to speak, speak up. It's an opportunity for you to let the world know that you do not encourage bad behavior. In the case of David O, it's bad behavior, yeah? You like it or not. But I know it's not entirely bad behavior. It's not horrible because he didn't rape the ladies. So, but then he's a married man. What are we sending out there to the world that Nigerian married men are, are allowed to cheat on their wives and get other women pregnant, you know, like that. So, but what about this messy owner? I feel like instead of everyone to just keep quiet, nobody is calling them to order to say, okay, hey, um, do this instead of this. The world is watching. I strongly believe that if somebody could come out to speak everything will look okay now let's talk about what i would do if i'm choma in this case normally if choma was to be a lady from another country a country where people don't worship you just because you are rich people don't respect you just for your money i would have said oh sis it's time for you to quit that marriage leave david but in a country like nigeria where a lot of people who love and respect you just because you are rich it's difficult to tell her that except i'm being wicked to her brand see uh there are people that that addresses choma as anti choma <laughs> brother shaggy is one of them this is a guy who is older than choma but he he addresses a anti choma mm? a young person like choma brother shaggy a matured guy is calling her anti choma that anti choma is not because she, he genuinely want to wish to say it in his heart, but it's because she's rich, she's um, associated with wealth, and she's the wife of David O. So once that is no more, that anti trauma, so he will take it from her and call another person, another twenty something years old girl, another, in fact, a teenage girl. You will see him calling her uh, auntie, just because of what the money 
and power so trauma wouldn't want to lose that because once she's no longer with david though she will see true color all these people claiming to love her any day she comes out to say okay i'm done and she moves on with her life all their respect they will take it from you so i wouldn't um advise her to quit because hey you don't want to go from a lot to nothing so please my darling sister stay in that relationship okay endure everything is going to be okay children and their children are blessing bros is gathering them for you from all over the world different continents at the end of the day you have saba in your house a french kids you have an american kids be ready though and currently about um david is, is expecting about three babies right now four what am i saying because according to reports before now amanda is pregnant and i strongly believe that amanda has put to bed amanda that's the second baby mama then choma and then the american lady and then the french lady aren't we lucky four that could have been coming from one woman's womb so god helps you to spread them around so it's good all right so my dear don't go anywhere stay with david okay a lot of Nigerian women would rather um, die there than to leave because they are thinking of the other person that will come and take it. Because one thing, the first thing you hear is, if you leave, don't go, stay there. If you come out, Sophia will come more. If you come out, um, Amanda will come. If you come out, that Anita Brown, that uh, French girl will come. Don't mind them. Stay there. Stay there. Don't mind them. Uh -huh. So my sister, me, I join millions of Nigerians to tell you don't mind them or don't go anywhere okay stay with bro stay with the video my dear mrs a to be a mrs a delicate is nobody's mate stay there okay don't move all right stay there I need to be a wife not just a wife this is a delicate wife to david o, one of african biggest afrobeat singer rich young and he flaunts you so it's that, that's an achievement my dear and he, he buys you the best uh bags he disrespect other people for you so why should you go don't go okay don't don't mind them those people calling you out that you should quit the marriage don't mind them stay there okay all right so you guys uh stay there um thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye